Well, a couple of years ago when my mom passed away, I wanted to honor her memory, and I also knew that in her memory, the courage, the determination uh, that brought her to America and the sacrifice uh, to have me be the first in my family to go to college uh, were all the type of uh, different uh, elements that women uh, constantly face here at home. You know, uh, questions of determination, questions of conviction, courage uh, to follow their dreams. And so I wanted to recognize my mom and I wanted to recognize women who were doing extraordinary things, who were trailblazers, who were blazing the way in different fields, uh, opening up new opportunities for women and serving all of us in New Jersey. And so that's what began three years ago, the Evangelina Menendez Trailblazer Award. So I know that when my grandmother passed away a few years ago, it was very important to him to keep alive her memory of hard work, of sacrifice, of someone who went to work every day, did the best she could for her family, and, and did it with a smile on her face, and did it with no, without seeking reward. And, and it's in her honor that I think he wants to be able to honor New Jersey women who are doing very much the same, whether that's that they're providing for their families, providing for their communities. She's a wonderful role model, a wonderful example of what it means to be a strong New Jersey woman. It is an incredible honor to be considered a trailblazer, but if I'm here, it is, I, I'm here because of the, the work that was done by the people that came before me. So um, I hopefully am building on the, the work that has been done already. Um, to be recognized for doing something that I am passionate about and something I love is extremely meaningful. And, and the idea that he is giving the award in honor of his, his mother um, makes it even more meaningful. So I am deeply honored and humbled to be chosen for this award. This is the award of a lifetime. This is a great honor to be recognized by this important award. To be a trailblazing woman is such a great honor for me because I actually feel that Senator Menendez has been such a trailblazer in helping families living with autism. So if I am a part of that trailblazing as a trailblazing woman, I am absolutely thrilled and honored to be so. To describe a trailblazing woman, independent, courageous, and powerful. Well, I think tenacious is one. You have, you have to always go after what you want. Compassionate is another. And honesty, because when you're trying to work with individuals, um, those three ideals, I think, really make you a trailblazing woman. I feel a trailblazing woman is someone who identifies and recognizes a particular cause and takes on that cause as a champion um, to solve issues and problems. For women or men, it doesn't particularly matter. Um, it means you have to be creative, bold, and um, innovative, and you need to learn to stand up for what you believe is right and fight for it until you get what you think you want. Like. Well, Lisa Jackson is a trailblazer uh, in every sense of the word. Uh, for her to be the first African American uh, Environmental Protection uh, Agency Administrator uh, is in and of itself a historic event. But far beyond that is what she's done with the EPA, uh, where she has in fact been a, a zealous safeguarder of our air and our water uh, and our lands, and making sure that we bequeath to future generations of Americans a country that is greener, uh, that is healthier, that is cleaner, uh, and taking on some tough battles along the way. And from uh, a scientist at the EPA to the head of the EPA and one of the 100 uh, most influential women in the world that met various magazines have called her. I couldn't think of a better person to be our keynote speaker. Well, you know, I hope the women honorees tonight hear first my admiration for them and the admiration that this award represents. I, they're all strong women. I've read their bios. They're doing some pretty amazing things, sometimes in the face of tough odds. And what I want them to get is a little bit more strength to keep on going, because when women do well, humanity's better for it. I think it's important to recognize people, especially women that do great things around the state, that don't necessarily get appreciated for it. And so to take one day uh, and honor them, I think it's significant in showing everyone's appreciation for what they do. 
I, this award is so important because there are so many women across the state of New Jersey who do amazing work, whether those be educators or people who are involved in community services. There are unsung heroes, and at a time when women's rights are under attack more than ever, I think it's especially important that we elevate the voices of powerful, wonderful women. Well, it's important to me in two ways. Uh, the award's important to me because it, it remembers my mom and it memorializes her life. Uh, and it does it in a way that also honors women who embody many uh, of the attributes I subscribe to my mom, women who have the courage, the determination, the drive uh, to do exceptional things, not just for women in our state, but uh, for families in our state, for all of us who call New Jersey home. And so that's why it's so extraordinarily special for me. I get to recognize my mom once a year, and I get to recognize some extraordinary women that can be a role model for other women uh, in our state to know that everything is possible.